Clutter. How do you know what to keep and what to get rid of? Today I'm sharing with you the five questions to ask yourself when you are downsizing, minimizing, or feeling like you just have too much crap. Hi, I'm professional organizer Katherine Lawrence. I help you live a life with less clutter so you can have space for the things that truly matter. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips on downsizing, minimizing, decluttering, and organizing. Okay, our first question is, did you use it in the last year? So it's important to think about how long it has been since you used something. And this is actually really helpful for clothing items. For example, if you have gone an entire season without wearing something, there's a good chance you're not gonna wear it in the upcoming season. So think about why you did not wear it last season. This is also a great question to ask when you're reviewing your kitchen gadgets. If you didn't use something during summer grilling or the holiday season, there's a good chance you're not gonna use it in the year coming up. When it's been more than a year since you've used something, you may forget that you even have it. And so when you do need that thing in the future, it's possible you'll just go out and buy it, which of course leads to that layering of the clutter in your home. All right, our second question is, do you have something that works better? If you have multiple tools that do the same thing, then you can downsize the excess. And this is a great question to ask yourself when you're reviewing household tools and also those kitchen gadgets. So if you find yourself using a fork to whisk food or mash potatoes, then you wanna ask yourself if you also need specialty tools to do those things as well. This is a perfect question to ask yourself when you have duplicate items. So often when I'm organizing a kitchen, I'll find three to five tools that do exactly the same thing. And so we gather those tools together and then review them as a group and just pick the best tool for that job. This question of do you have something that works better also relates to paperwork, but typically when I'm reviewing papers, I'll ask the question of can you find this information somewhere else? So is there a better place to get this information? And a good example is paper bank statements. If you find that you are getting paper bank statements, never looking at them and checking your accounts online, then you can eliminate the paper statements and just find the information somewhere else. Okay, our third question is, is it in good working order? If something is broken or needs mending, there's a good chance you're not gonna use it anyway. So when you are decluttering and you're reviewing things like your emergency supplies or cleaning products or household utility items, make sure they're in good working order. Often when I do these whole house decluttering jobs, we find dozens of items that don't even work. And so that's a really easy way to declutter is to just move all of those items out of your house. So repair it or get rid of it. Okay, our fourth question may be familiar to some of you guys if you have read Marie Kondo's book about the magic of tidying up. And that question is, does it spark joy? So it's such a basic question, but it, it really sparked this sort of global phenomenon of people reviewing their items and seeing if they had this positive emotional connection with that thing. This is a great question to ask when you are reviewing sentimental items because uh, we've collected all of these objects throughout our lives and some of them represent our past and if you hold it in your hand and it doesn't make you happy and it actually brings up a negative memory or something negative from the past go ahead and get rid of it then you don't have to keep bringing up that negative emotion this is also a good question to ask when you're reviewing uh, items in your home that you use for home decor. And if they don't make you happy, like lamps and throw pillows and little decorative things and artwork, if it doesn't make you happy, go ahead and get rid of it because those items aren't really part of the function of your home. They're just here to spark joy. Now, does it spark joy is not the greatest question when you're reviewing things like paperwork or tools in your home because those are useful items or they may be items you have to keep for legal and tax reasons and they may not make you happy at all. So use the spark joy question when reviewing sentimental items, home decor, clothing, and books. 
Number five. This question comes from Peter Walsh in his book Let It Go, and it is, "Would you buy this item again?" So the way this works is when you're reviewing the items in your home and you're deciding whether to keep it or if you can just get rid of it. Think about: Would you go out today, right now, and pay money to purchase that item? Would you buy this item again if you didn't already own it? And if the answer is no, then get rid of it. This is a great question to ask yourself if you're keeping things that you know you don't use that often, but you may need them someday. So that fear of getting rid of something that is useful. So that's a great question to ask yourself when you're reviewing things like gifts that someone else has given you, something that you probably would not have bought for yourself, but you have it now because it was gifted to you. And just gadgets that you have laying around the home that you're not really using. And this is an excellent question to ask yourself before you purchase space, like in a storage unit, to store things, because that is going to cost you money in the long run, possibly thousands of dollars. So if you're looking to pay for storage for things that you're rarely using or don't think you should really be keeping. Think about the thousands of dollars that you will spend to store that over the years when you could just get rid of it today. So, in the comments below, let me know what what are you holding on to? What's hard for you to get rid of? And see if these questions will help you out as you're reviewing those items in your home. To get a list of these questions and a transcript of this video, please check out my blog. There is a link to that in the description below. You can also grab a copy of my Organized for Life workbook. I'll put a link to that as well. Thank you. So much for watching, and I'll see you next time.